Hey guys, I'm Dawn Del Russo, and I wanted to show you the entire OPI new fall winter collection of the Swiss colors because um, I was lucky enough to get them all, 12 of them. So I wanted to show you guys because the colors are absolutely gorgeous and I'm loving them. I already tried, I think I showed you guys the blue one. I love that color, but there's so many fun ones. This, these are like the more of the shimmery ones. I'll show you first. This one is, it's called The Color to Watch. And it's like a purpley kind of color. Let's see that tone. And it's purple with like a shimmer kind of over it. It's really pretty. Um, I might put this one on tomorrow. You'll see which one I decided to put on. Um, I've just been like going through all of them and trying them. So you kind of see what that color looks like there. So. Uh, the next one, I'll just go through them really quickly just so you guys could see them and then when you go and see them you'll know what colors you want. Um, this one's called Diva of Geneva. Oh, this is a really pretty color. This is uh, similar to the one I have on. And see if you could see it. It's kind of got this reddish. This is a really popular color because I've seen a lot of different nail polishes for the fall do this with this um, green gold undertones to it with a little bit of sparkle. Um, MAC did a color like this too for that with that with their uh, with their new collection. So you guys could see this one. Ooh, it's really nice. Yeah, I'll put that one on. I don't know. This is going to be a really tough decision to decide what I'm going to put on tomorrow. This one, I actually was thinking about trying this one. I'm not really a blue, but the other blue I really liked. So I'm thinking, you know, it might be, it might be the new color that I'm into. So this one is called Yodel Me On My Yodel Me On My Cell. <laughs> Yodel Me On My Cell is the name of this one. And you can see the color is this bluish kind of color. The next three are, well I'll show you this one, then the next two are really sparkly, almost like it could be worn as that like one finger sparkle nail pile kind of color. Um, this is another bluish, more green to it, and this one's called Cuckoo for this color. Can you guys see that color? See it's like, this one has more green to it and more, a little bit, um, it's blue but it has more of a green tone to it. I don't know if you're, the green is picking up, it's still looking a little bit blue on camera, but it has this like green tone to it. So that's a really pretty color too. They're nice deep dark um, jewel tones they're going for in this collection, which are really gorgeous and perfect for the fall. Now these two, one's a silver and one's a gold. And these were very sparkly, real sparkly. I actually put this one on uh, the other day. I put it over the color that I had on just because I knew I was going to take my nail polish off anyway. So I wanted to see how it looked. It looks really cool over like a dark polish. So it works nicely like that. This one's called, this one's called Looser and Tanley Look Marvelous. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So this one's like very shimmery kind of silver to it. Um, real, 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 real metallic. So this is a, if you want that metallic, that bold metallic kind of color that Rihanna wears a lot. Um, I'm trying to think of what other celebrities wear. You know, that real metallic kind of look. A lot of celebrities have been doing the blue. I've seen it on like every celebrity, the blue color. This one is a gold. And it is called Glitzerland. Oh, what a cute name. So this one can be like very holiday-ish. Uh, and you can get a look at that. Is really gold. So those are the first six. This next bunch of colors, now I'll show you the one you saw on me. me the other day was this blue. And it is so, it is amazing on. I love it. I want to put it on again. Ski Till We Drop is the name of this one. And just take a look at this. Oh my god, it's such a pretty color. I just, I can't believe how much I fell in love with this blue. I really like it. I'm like excited to put it on again and, and that's unusual because I am so not a blue nail polish kind of person and it just looks so good. It is, it's like so stylish and makes me feel like it's so fashionable. Now this one I actually did a pedicure with and it's a cool color. It's called William Tell Me About OPI and it actually looks a lot darker on. I did two coats. I usually do two coats and it looks a lot darker on. In the bottle it's kind of got this like burgundy kind of tone to it which is hot for the season. I mean like fall is all about burgundy kind of wine tones, Bordeaux sort of colors and that's this one. 
I don't know if you guys are even going to get the idea of this, but it is just like major. This one just, you're going to love it. When you see it in person, you will absolutely love it. Now the next four, the last four, are just in your reds kind of family it's fall kind of um, autumn tones. So I'll show you them really quickly. From A to Zura is the name of it. Uh, and that's this kind of tone. It's very berry-like. This one has a little bit more pink to it. And that's the color of it, which is really, really a different kind of red. It's a little bit mixed. It's not real bright red, but it's more uh, more like a raspberry kind of tone to it. This is your traditional red, which um, if you know I love Olivia Palermo, her style and um, nail polish, she tends to wear reds a lot. I'm not exactly sure the exact red that she wears, but this is very similar to, to the color, I think. This one is called Color So Hot It Burns, B-E-R-N-S, not B-U. And take a look at this one. If you want red, it's this is like your major Christian Louboutin bottom of the shoe red. <laughs> it's like serious. So if you want a red, this is the red for you. The last two, I'll show you them together because they look very similar. Just a little roasty at this. I don't know. But that's what it looks like on the bottle. Um, okay, so it's this color. And I know, I, I sound like I have no idea and I'm reading the bottom of the bottle. Okay, so this is the color, and this one is a little bit more red, burnt red kind of color, I'd say. Really pretty on, though. Um, when I have it on, I'll show you guys so you can see it the next, uh, and over the next few weeks, you'll probably see most of these colors on me, so. And the last one is, I'm Susie, and I'm a chocoholic, I'm Susie, and I'm a chocoholic. That's the name of this one. Uh, it doesn't look very chocolatey. This though. one is, uh, I mean, it does have like more of a brown tone to it. It actually looks like a red velvet kind of cake. That's what this color looks like. If you know red velvet cake, that's exactly what this color looks like. I'll see if you could see that. See that color? It's kind of like a deeper reddish with a little bit of purpley kind of tone to it. I don't know if you're seeing that on, on here, but that's the kind of tone color that that is. So it's really pretty. Okay. Yeah, really gorgeous colors. I'm a, a huge fan of their nail polish. It stays on long. It lasts really well. I never have issues with it. I actually, um, I have used the quick dry top coat of theirs. I like it. The one that I am like a dedicated fan of is Out the Door. This is what I use all the time. I, I've told you guys, I literally, I put my nail polish on at night before I go to sleep. I'm talking like I go to sleep in like 10 minutes after I put it on and nothing. My nails look perfect in the morning but what I do do, which is a really little secret, after I put this on I put some olive oil on my nails. Um, just on over the nail polish and that prevents it from like uh, getting any like the marks in the nails or scuffs or anything. So do that little trick. You could do your nails at night, wake up in the morning, gorgeous nails. Perfect. So comment below. Let me know what color out of those OPIs you think you're going to be wearing this season. I want to know. Bye.